is Mike Weitzman, uh, editor with the Robot Report. I'm here in the Segway 9 Bud booth this afternoon, and uh, we're here to talk about uh, this uh, incredible device in front of us and what it's all about. And with me is Tony Ho, uh, VP of Business Development uh, with Segway. You want to introduce yourself? Segway Robotics, yeah. And so I, I head up the business about the autumn activities, and uh, Noah Carter is the, the latest development we had. And so I'd uh, like to chat about this together with uh, yeah, Gerard. Yeah. We're also here with Gerard Andrews, who's the director of product marketing for uh, NVIDIA. Yeah, so yeah, my name is Gerard Andrews, and I head up product marketing for robotics at NVIDIA. And excited to talk to our dear friend, uh, Mike from the Robot Report, and Tony about the great partnership we have uh with this robot at the center nova carter great so i think we're all curious about what is this thing uh so so tony t tell us what is Nova carter and, and what are you trying to uh, try to do with this solution yeah uh nova carter is actually built for robotic engineers and scientists uh for most of that actually the well, probably the most advanced uh, development for their robotics uh, application and it has the sort of the Top of the line sensors, especially with the NVIDIA Jetson AGX platform, and also sort of the one of the best uh, sensor suite you can you can find in the market. And uh, I, we actually work very closely with uh, NVIDIA actually on the software side as well. So what makes this great or the best product on the market now is we are the sort of the the form, like almost like a hardware provider and the embodiment of the whole technology. Uh, but NVIDIA is actually the sort of the the heart or the sort of the, the brain behind that, especially with their software platform, which Gerard knows every single thing about. It. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so let's talk about who, who would be interested in using this platform. Who are you trying to sell this? Uh, this is actually for whoever wants to develop the, the latest the robotic application, engineers, scientists included, uh, to initially uh, mapping, uh, building perception engines. Uh, building their models and actually try out everything, like including simulation and everything, so they can shorten their development time and also reduce the cost significantly. Yeah, if I can add to that, uh, Tony. So, with this Nova Carter platform, we put the world's best edge AI computer, the Orin, and a collection of uh, LiDAR cameras. IMU sensors, a really rich sensor set, so that anyone interested in building a next generation autonomous robot or developing algorithms for next generation autonomous robot can get started on day one with a platform, with all the sensor input you need, all the on-device uh, compute that you need, because our goal is we have a saying in NVIDIA that everything that moves will one day be autonomous. And that extends from autonomous vehicles to smaller things like AMRs. And this platform is set to move forward the development of AMRs by giving a rich platform to that scientific community, to that engineering community that's going to make these next generation platforms. Interesting. So that's the first time I've got a chance to see Noah Carter. Um, I understand you just released this earlier in Late this fall? In October in Roscom. Um, two months two months ago, yeah. So 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 it's running around at Roscom. What was the what was the reception like for folks at, at Roscom? I think the developer community is actually really excited. Yeah. We actually got some really good reviews from some of the yeah. influencer in, in the developer community. Uh, you know, I was gonna say uh, I, that you know, a lot of the folks in the uh, robotics, the open source community yeah. They need a platform like this so they can advance their software development and they don't have to spend time building up, investing in a hardware platform on day one. They can have a hardware platform with the sensors uh, calibrated, ready to go, and then they can work on whatever particular part of the software stack where they want to make their contribution. So uh, I saw great uh, excitement from the Ross development community and, um, you know, we're excited to really accelerate this partnership at CES and have a great 2024 with this platform. Interesting. So you said the top of the line or it is so that the processing on this is, should be able to handle any type of application a developer wants to throw at it. Well, what, uh, indoors, outdoors, how, is there any limitations on, on the type, types of application you see this being the, what it 
Yeah, I think the platform itself is more of an indoor AMR platform, yep. just the physics of it. Uh, the compute itself, I mean, it could be on indoor or outdoor platforms, but this specific delivery vehicle of Carter is more an uh, indoor uh, AMR. Uh, you mentioned the Orin is up to 270 tops of onboard uh uh, you know, compute power to throw out any AI, AI problem. I'd be hesitant to say that uh, it could do any anything because as soon as you say that, somebody will, you know, uh, well, break that. But much, right? yeah, somebody to push it to its limits, right? Exactly. But I will say, if you uh, if you fill up that orange, you can always buy another one. Yeah. <laughs> so, does it come with a standard configuration in terms of the sensor set? Is there any sort of configuration that folks can respect this differently? Uh, this is actually meant to be an out-of-the-box experience, okay. so this is actually one standard package. Uh, however, uh, we are introducing other packages very soon that can be sort of cherry-picked that you know, the, the sensor suite that fits you the best. Okay. And so this is meant to be a sort of reference design, if you will. In fact, actually, most of the stuff actually open source anyway. So anybody who wants to develop something, they can just easily go, actually go on our website and uh, NVIDIA's website to get the information they want. You can actually come up with your own robot. Interesting. So that this is the hardware part of it. We talked about ROS. So I assume there's the open library, uh, open source library for them to, to get this I mean, really powered up and get it working within two minutes, couple hours, or actually move it around. So yeah, actually, we were actually very excited when NVIDIA was introducing the whole suite of tools. Uh, so, so you know, a lot of the stuff that you would imagine that actually costs a lot of money to develop as a team and everything. Uh, actually, NVIDIA with their engineers, they did it for you. <laughs> so it's a really good toolkit to come out and just come up with some really cool applications without really investing too much effort into this. So that's why it's meant to be sort of ease of use and it's really, you know, quickly hit the ground and running. Great. So you're taking orders now? Folks can oh, we already... Have many orders so far. <laughs> so it's actually well, well liked by a lot of the, the, especially the leading robotic developers. Um, so they typically have their own robotic applications, but they're looking for something really with something easy, easy to use and had these uh, uh, pre-built sensor suite and tools as well. So it's very well received so far. Yeah, I like to add to that, like one of the best things uh more uh interesting things about the partnership and why we work with a company like segway on this project is their ability to scale uh manage supply chains build robots in mass in production if you look around this booth they have any number of form factors they know about mobility they know how things move and how wheels work and they're a great partner as we try to advance the world of you know amrs and so from our standpoint we know that they can scale up and and then actually partner with companies who use this as a development platform who eventually might want to go to production that segue uh is a, a good partner for them so we get double benefit out of working with the company like segue uh on the carter program right and so i guess i mean consumer uh commercial applications so young companies that are trying to build a mobile robot but also a research platform uh selling it to lab uh, university labs as well don't have to worry about all of the uh, typically making the undergraduates put the platform together yes. for, for all the graduate uh, work but this looks like a great platform for, for research. yeah so this is only the beginning so what we intend to do is uh, we hope this become an ecosystem almost okay so obviously it is the sort of the best ai platform these, these days on the market uh, so by working with them a little bit resemble like we are the phone provider and NVIDIA is actually the operating system of the whole thing and as well as also server side as well. So it becomes part of the ecosystem. We kind of grow together with it. And so it's, it's actually a little bit open at this point that, you know, beyond No Carter, we, we are open to partner with pretty much any robotic company to help them build their next generation robot and also help them scale. A lot of companies, some of them are startup companies as well. Yeah. So this is our where we came in. We actually know how to scale hardware, right? So so with the software tools and everything, we're hoping to grow this pie way bigger. Um, Great, and I yeah. see the opportunity to see new young uh, organizations to get a, you know startup ideas out of the out of the, uh, out of the gate. Yeah, out of the gate. I feel like in in twenty twenty four, as robotics companies come online, you really have to 
take a platform approach to building a robot, the idea of building every single part of the robot yourself is just not scalable. It's not very efficient. And so if you if we come out with a development platform like this, we provide software infrastructure like the Isaac AMR stack, which runs on here, or Isaac, uh, uh, Isaac Raw stack that will run on this platform, it'll allow the companies to really concentrate on what their differentiation is going to be and what specific problems they want to solve without having to do everything from the ground up. And so, I, you know, if you're a robotics company out there, I encourage you to look at that platform approach. And this, you know, from an NVIDIA standpoint, Carter is a big part of the platform that we are offering to that development community. So, so one of my last question that I have about this, we talked about this on our panel yeah. uh, yesterday, which is simulation and simulation tools. Are you guys supporting this or, or what would be the strategy to support the simulation parts? That's actually the most exciting topic. I think yeah. Gerard can tell you even more. But for us, it's, you know, have the robot to be trained in the digital twins. Yeah, okay. It was such a fascinating, almost like sci-fi story, right? But the point here is that you, you shrink the development times by so much. And also reducing the cost. So you really don't have to drive the robot around. Yeah. And you can just put that in simulation and, you know, hardware and software in the loop. And it will make the developed life is way easier. Yeah. I mean, on what you said and, and more directly, yeah. When you work with Carter, Carter comes as a model already preloaded in Isaac Sim. So when you want to develop your software stack and validate it, you can validate it in the simulation and the sim to real between the real robot and the Carter, we've tuned and we've invested to make a really high quality model. Um, and, you know, simulation is just, you know, it's a big part of developing the AI, AIs, testing the AIs, or even validating how that robot might perform in a different environment. And so we... From the first day, we 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 have a simulation first approach right. to our robotics development, and so even before the hardware was ready, we had the simulation model. And this is the default robot. Yeah. <laughs> if you open up the Isaac Sim, this is the robot. Yeah. Great! Wow, what a I think this is a wonderful idea. Yeah. Great partnership. So I look forward to watching how where this goes now in the next year too. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you.